Gospel for Unreached. Our mission is to spread the good news to the whole world through the internet. Jesus commissioned his disciples to go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Mark 16, 15. Come, let us join our hands and hearts to reach the, the lost and tell them the love of Jesus. Therefore, go and make disciples to all nations. Life-changing sermons in several languages, CD, DVD, MP3, and Bible tracts are available free of cost. And if you would like to learn more and get involved with our ministry or sponsor a missionary orphan, please feel free to contact us by email at gospelunreached at yahoo.com or call us at 310-408-2823. Your comments and suggestions are very valuable to our ministry. We enjoy hearing from our visitors. Thanks for visiting. Please come back and visit us soon. May the Lord richly bless you. Thank you. Jesus said, come to me all those who are laboring and are heavy laden. Whatever your burden is, He can carry it for you. You don't have to carry your burdens. Jesus is your burden bearer. And the Bible says that if you're weary, if you're tired, if you're tired of living, if you're tired and weary of the things that are happening around you, come to Jesus. He's, that's the only invitation that God so loved the world that He gave. His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I've come to give you good news. I come from the land called India. That's where I was born. But now today I stand right in Torrance to tell you this good news, that God has a plan in your life. And the Bible says, come to Jesus. Don't give up on Jesus. He cares for you. He can change your life. He can give you purpose for living. He can give you a reason. He wants to carry you. He, the good news. Jesus is the only hope that Los Angeles has. Jesus is the only hope for California. You and I are here, not by chance this morning. You and I are here to hear the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. The, go the gospel is the good news. The gospel is not sad news. The gospel is not bad news. But sorry to say, for many people, they have rejected this gospel. I urge you, beloved, don't reject this gospel. Jesus is coming soon. And He wants to change your life even today. If only you will give Him a chance. And the Bible says, Come to me all those who are heavy laden and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Are you lonely? Are you without hope? Jesus will change your life forever. He is real. He changed my life when I was 19 years old. I'm still very young as you can see. But it gets better and better. It gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And if you taste Him, you will follow Him. If you taste Him, you will know He's real. If you taste Him, here, your life will never be the same. Oh, I've come to give you good news to all of you who are hearing the sound of my voice. I want to tell you, God has a wonderful plan in your life. And He can change your life. He can change your destiny if you only open your heart to this gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that on Christmas, it was not on 25th December, but He came 2,000 years ago. We don't know which day He was born, but He came in, 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 in Bethlehem stable. But today I want to tell you, He is not a baby. He is the resurrected Savior. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And the Bible says that three, 33 and a half years He lived on earth. 
and he, he carried your sin. He carried my sin on Calvary's Golgotha. He was nailed to the cross and the blood that was shed was to forgive your sins. And the Bible says that if you believe on Jesus with all your heart, you will be saved. The good news is that Jesus took your sins. He carried your burdens. He carried your infirmities. He carried your sickness. He carried your suffering. He carried everything that you and I deserve is death. But Jesus took your penalty by dying on the cross. A cruel thorn was placed on his head. His hands had the nail of a pierced hands where blood came forth. And Jesus shed his blood. He shed his blood for every soul that none may perish but all may have eternal life. God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his best. That is Christmas my beloved. That Jesus gave. He gave his life. He gave his blood to redeem you on Calvary's cross. And if you believe on Jesus now, you will be saved. Praise the, Lord. the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. The Bible says that 2,000 years ago that Jesus took your sickness. He took your disease. He carried your infirmities. He carried your diseases. And the Bible says that on the cross of Calvary that your sickness was paid for. Your salvation was paid for. Jesus bought you with his blood. You can do nothing about it. But the word of God says, God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his life. Hallelujah. If you're listening, if you have yours, the word of God says, God so loved you that he gave his best for you. All you need to do to receive eternal life is to receive the Son of God and say, Jesus, come into my life. God loves you, beloved. This is the good news. Your burdens, you don't have to carry your burdens. All your burdens, bring it to the foot of the cross. All your burdens, bring it to Calvary's cross. The blood that He shed has the power to set you free. If you are listening to me, give your heart to Jesus. If you are listening to me, give your life to Jesus. He can save you. He can change you. He can bless you. That's the good news that I have for you. If you give your heart to Jesus, you will never be the same. If your heart is full of sin, He will wash it as white as snow. Because the Bible says, the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses you from all sin. I have good news for you. I have good news for you. I have come traveling 7,000 plus miles all the way from India to tell you that your life will never be the same. All you need is Jesus. Jesus is the hope of glory. Jesus is the coming King of glory. Jesus lives. I live for Jesus. I breathe for Jesus. I talk about Jesus. I am excited to tell you that this Jesus has changed my life. I was on my way to hell, but I no more am a sinner. I'm destined for heaven. You can change your lifestyle. You can change your eternity because by accepting Jesus, you will be with Jesus forever. Jesus said in John 14 and verses 1, the Bible says, I go to prepare a place for you. That where you are, that where I am, you may be also. And God has a mansion for you in heaven. What you're living here is temporary. This world is temporary. This world will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But Jesus said, my words will never pass away. What you see around you will pass away. One day all these buildings will fall to the ground. But Jesus has a home for you in heaven. He has a mansion for you in heaven. Get ready. Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. That's the hope of glory. God bless you, sister. God bless you. God loves you. God cares for you. God will meet your needs. God has a wonderful plan in everyone who's listening. If you want to give your heart to Jesus, I'm willing to pray with you. If you want to give your heart to Jesus this very day, this very hour, this very moment, all you have to do is a simple prayer. I'm willing to pray with you. If you want to make that commitment to live for Jesus, all you have to do is come forward and we will be more than glad to pray with you. If you want to give your heart to Jesus, just come here right now. I'm willing to pray with you. 
You may not get another chance. You may not get another occasion to make this commitment. But this is your day. This is the day of salvation. I don't think I'll ever see you again. I don't think I'll have another opportunity to come here to this park. But I have good news for you. The words of Jesus will ring in your life. He is the way. He is the truth. And He is the life. If you need Jesus, He is the only way. He is the only truth. And He is the only life. Come on, get born again. If you know what born again means, it's giving your heart to Jesus. If you want to know what born again means, it's giving your life to Jesus. I've come all the way from India to tell you that Jesus loves you. All of you who are listening to my voice, I want to tell you that there is a purpose and a reason that I met you this day. That He sent me all the way from India to tell you that He loves you. He has a plan for you. He has a destiny for you. He has a purpose for you. Don't reject Him. Don't give Him only 50% of your life. Give Him 100% of your life. Make Him the Lord of your life. Don't make materialism your God. Don't make materialism your God. Make Jesus the God of your life. Don't make, uh, don't make uh, anything else the God of your life. Make Jesus the God of your life. Amen. Oh, He loves Bollywood. Oh, He loves Hollywood. But you know what? I've come to tell you, brother, He loves you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Live for Jesus, brother. You may not see me anymore. But I want to tell you, live for Jesus. Live for Jesus. Anybody wants a prayer right now, I'm going to pray for you. Amen. You've heard the good news. Anybody wants a prayer, I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. None of you want Jesus? I want Jesus. You love your corn more than Jesus? Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank you, sister. I'm going to pray for you right now. If you wouldn't mind, hallelujah, saying this prayer with me. At the sound of my voice, as you close your eyes, I want you to say this prayer with me. All of you are listening to me. Dear Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That you love me. You love me. Thank you. Thank you. That you died for my you died, sins. You died for my sins. Thank you for Calvary's cross. Thank you for the Thank you for the shame you took. Thank you. Thank you for the suffering you took. Thank you for the Thank you for taking my burdens today. Thank you for And I empty my life at your foot. The foot of the cross. Jesus come into my life. Give me eternal life. Give me peace. And bless me, Lord. I will live the rest of my life for Jesus who gave his life for me. Thank you, Lord. I make this prayer in the most precious name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for your time. And thank you. God loves you very much. And God loves all of you, by the way. Bye now. Bye.